commodity groups have worked to set goals to increase cover crop adoption across the United States considerably by 2030. And North Carolina soybean farmers can gain some benefits from incorporating more cover crops into their rotations. There's both short and long-term benefits that can be gained from cover crop use, but it's important to emphasize that species selection is important to maximize the benefits that you're going after. Today we're in a cereal rye study in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina that's focusing on rye management and how that can optimize some of the short-term benefits. I'm excited about the interdisciplinary nature of this project. We have a graduate student, Hannah Massengill, who's working on the project, but there's pathologists, entomologists, agronomists, and weed scientists working on her committee, and I think that will help us maximize the value of investigating these systems back to North Carolina soybean farmers. Rye is an excellent choice to increase benefits like weed suppression or soil moisture conservation during the soybean season because we can produce a lot of cereal rye biomass over the winter and the more biomass you have the more opportunity there is to optimize some of these short-term benefits. So when cereal rye mulch is out here on the surface it can help conserve soil moisture during the soybean production season by reducing evapotranspiration from the sunlight directly hitting the soil and also reducing runoff. This is particularly advantageous in a dry year. There's also some benefits that these cover crops can bring in close proximity to soybean planting. So at this particular site today, it's pretty dry. And where we terminated this cover crop several weeks before planting, there's actually more soil moisture and it's easier to plant into than where we have green cover or fallow. So there's also some advantages from soil moisture dynamics in a cover crop system near planting. So at this particular site today, it's pretty dry. And where we terminated this cover crop several weeks before planting, there's actually more soil moisture and it's easier to plant into than where we have green cover or fallow. So there's also some advantages from soil moisture dynamics in a cover crop system near planting.